Imagine the single best tasting beer you've ever had. Now imagine that every beer since then has tasted exactly the same. What's the point? Schaefer people get that consistent great taste because Schaefer's... That ad for Schaefer beer is more than 40 years old, but if you think that's an old school beverage, how about this? Beer was brewed in ancient Egypt. In fact, it's been around for more than 10,000 years. We met up with an archaeologist who's not only discovering its sudsy origins, he's actually recreating ancient ales that you can consume today. Pacho Mama. Cheers. From about 1,000 or so CE. Travis Rupp leads two rather different lives in Boulder, Colorado. In the Greek world, oftentimes, relief sculpture was very much focused on mythology. One as an adjunct professor of classics, art history, and anthropology at the University of Colorado. The other as a beer archaeologist at Avery Brewing, or more specifically... Your title here is what? Is innovation and wood cellar manager and beer archaeologist. Rupp says it's really two hobbies, a love of the classics, and a love of beer, which turned into two jobs. One that didn't really exist until Rupp and Avery Brewing created it. Are there any other beer archaeologists out there that you know of? Not necessarily, no. I know of a few other scholars that work in the field of ancient beer. I'm the only one that works for a brewery recreating these ancient beers. How far back does beer date? That is a fantastic question. It's an ongoing debate. Potentially 13,000 years ago, they were making beer. The ancient Romans had no word for beer. There is no word for beer in Latin. There's no Greek word for beer either. But they defined the alcoholic beverage by whatever the locals called it from the location it came from, and it was beer. It's the first craft beer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was the first craft beer. While the professor wanted to learn, the brewer wanted to taste. I think part of it was that homebrewer mentality. With homebrewing, it was always experimentation. When you start looking into the textbook, sometimes they'll talk about alcohol that was drank by a pharaoh or an emperor or something like that, and it's always wine, wine, yeah. wine, wine. Except the Egyptians who tend to talk quite a bit about drinking beer. And so I got really curious and I wanted to learn more about the average Joe. So Rupp set out on a path to recreate the beers that an average Joe of the past may have been drinking. And that's where the longtime home brewer leaned on his professorial background, formulating the first of Avery Brewing's Ales of Antiquity. I had to dig into uh, the textbooks in different ways, physically travel to the locations where we've recreated the beers, look at the modern culture, and then start working our way back to the past. What was readily available for people to use all the time of these ingredients? And then uh, what about these two? These two, though, are ancient grains that we use in some of the ales of antiquity. These are actually wheat, so as opposed to barley, you have wheat. Rupp offered up his first recreation in August 2016, an ancient Greek beer about 3,300 years old called Nestor's Cup. The public response was amazing. I mean, I started getting calls from local museums and being asked to put on dinners to talk about this whole process of recreating it. So you'd created this ancient Greek beer and people yeah. heard about it. Yeah. Wanted to taste it because they thought it was good or thought, how bad might this be? Great question. I think, honestly, they were just really curious to see what it tasted like and had very, very low expectations for it. Cheers. So, cheers honestly, yes. so did I. That's really good. It's yeah. sweeter than I yeah. thought it would be. Yeah, so this was a uh, combination of mostly wild yeast. Uh, it also has acorns in it, and then elderberries and figs, which gave it this deep purple color. Nestor's cup led to seven more ales of antiquity over the past three years, from ancient Peruvian beer. Pachamama. Yeah. Really light, grapefruity almost. Yeah to a thousand-year-old Viking beer called Ragnar's Droppa. No, There's a yeah. thickness to yeah. it at the it's end. Heavy, right? It's heavy, right? It's a heavy body. It's and one of the most popular ancient ales, Beersheba, with roots in Israel, Palestine, and Jordan. How old is this one? This is about 300 B.C. All right, let's uh, so see about 2,300 years old. Again, really light. Really light. Fantastic. Rupp and Avery Brewing's most recent beer, George Washington Porter, released in February, his first American offering. No matter the origin, Rupp says there's a common challenge when it comes to taste. I can't get a kernel that's 4,000 years old that's gonna taste exactly like that, so I have to get as close as I can. As for why the general public is buying into the past? It makes it more tangible to them. It makes the, the ancients very similar to them in some ways. And for Rupp, that's more than enough reason to keep toiling away 
at both of his jobs. As a lover of history, archaeology, and I'm also an educator, and I love to give people an experience. My goal is to preserve history. They help me preserve that history by drinking it. And, and we can help preserve that history okay. by tasting the porter. While you guys taste, I'm going to say this. They don't have them canned and available for distribution right now. It's only at Avery Brewing, but they're working on that aspect. So popular, though, that they've already sold out of two of the kinds that he's made. He made eight different types. Two kegs are sold out. One they'll finish next weekend, and then they'll work on making even more. I love that you brought free sample. Uh, yes, sure. I do. Very uh, good. This is good surprisingly good. That, it is. Right. And yeah. it, it, that's what sort of was amazing. And again, some of these kernels, you can't get one that's 4,000 years old. He goes as close as he can figure yeah. out to what they were using. What was your favorite? Mm, a mix. I really like the Beersheba a lot. Okay. All righty. <laughs>